Welcome back, Rankers. Google made some changes to Webmaster Tools again this week. You may remember a couple of weeks ago, we explained how now in the queries uh, section of Webmaster Tools, they were showing you number of impressions as well as clicks, and which of course gave you click through. Now they've added the average position, which is really interesting because, I mean, this is an old site that we don't do terribly much with, but the, uh, if, if, for this particular query, it's telling us that it's had 140 clicks, and it's only had a 19% click-through rate, but its average position was 23. Um, and then it gives you a breakdown, which even further explains you know, where, that, where those clicks came from, and, uh, and, it give, and it rounds out the click-through rate as well for you. But what it can do is, is if your average position is 23, and you're getting a 19% click-through rate, that must, you must be having a few highs as well as a lot of lows. So the thing would be to make that ranking stable. So I would encourage you all to go and have a look at the, uh, the updated Google search queries in Webmaster Tools. This number over here where it says clicks 700, uh, 720 and then displaying 390 means it's had 720 clicks, but it's only showing me 390 of the actual queries. It's not showing me what the rest of the queries were. So there's a lot of long tail there that Google won't display. It'll only display the ones that have got the highest um, search volume. So really interesting. Oh, the other thing it allows you to do too is it will give you a breakdown of countries where the clicks are coming from and also allow you to star certain searches so you can get to them quickly and easily. And uh, But having said all that, I don't find the data that accurate. When you compare it to some of Google's own tools, uh, like Google Analytics, it doesn't match up for me. So I'd like to know your experience and if the data in Google Webmaster Tools matches what you are actually seeing in Analytics. It could just be that this particular part of Google is still, um, I don't know, updating, not crawling as much, I don't know. But I'd, be, I'd love to hear your feedback and uh, if you are seeing similar things. Next, we've got a question from the audience from Kim. And Kim's seeing uh, certain URLs uh, in his sitemap and that are in Google, but they don't seem to be on his website. Nasty problem. Uh, look, great SEO. This is, I love this, the idea of this, this site, Clever Toys for Clever Kids. That's got to be a niche, if I've ever seen one. Um, and some great SEO starting up here. I, I don't know whether puzzles as a word by itself is maybe kids' puzzles, might be better for you. Uh, but, you know, breaking up the page title nicely. One thing that stands out for me here, Kim, is, is not a lot of text on the site, because it's a lot of it is in images. So you're gonna have trouble Google getting a really good uh, understanding of what the site's about. But your specific question was about URLs. You're saying that um, when people come to the site, they get one set of URLs but there seems to be another one, another set inside Google itself. A quick search that you can do, and I've told people to do this one a lot, is if you just put site, colon, and then your web address, and don't type your web address.com like some people have in the past and then told me it doesn't work. That, that's my toy.com.au. Waiting for Firefox to catch up. Okay. And that will tell you how many pages Google has in its index about your site. And from here we can see there's 525 pages. Now, if your site doesn't have 525 pages, in fact, if it has a lot less, that's a problem. And similarly, if your site has a lot more pages than what that number says, then it means Google's not finding all your content. If you, and from what you're saying on Facebook, you've actually put a set of URLs in the sitemap that are different to the ones that you would normally see as you browse. So that's a bad thing because what Google is seeing then is more than one set of content. And you know, I've just done a quick, a few quick searches in here and I'm seeing some duplicate pages on your site. So basically you've got to do a couple of things. You've got to work out what's causing the duplication of, of the pages on the site. And it's a dynamically generated site, so it, it just could be 
you know, uh, a coding issue that needs to be fixed. And I see it a lot in Joomla sites where someone's installed a search engine friendly URL tool, but they haven't done it properly and we you get both sets of URLs, the old URLs and the new URLs. Um, hopefully it'll be easy for you to fix, but you really don't want to be telling Google one thing and the rest of the world uh, something else because Google's just going to get confused, going to find you noisy and probably won't rank you that high. And that's it for today's show. Hopefully that was helpful. And if you have any questions, then please send them through. Or, of course, go and do what Kim did and uh, shove them on the Stuart Media Facebook page. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.